working 80 hours a week in a toxic work environment while being underpaid and getting sent to remote villages to count logs by hand during the holidays. These are just a few of the complaints that I've received from my friends who work in Big Four Accounting. Can someone please explain to me in crayon eating terms why this is the dream job for like the majority of university graduates these days? And while I cannot save them, what I can do is use my little nerd skills to rank the suffering. What we will be doing today is using machine learning techniques to just figure out exactly which big four company people hate working at the most. And while I don't have brain chips in their mind, I do have Reddit. So what we need to do is take a post like this, and then take the text in that post and compare it to a sentence like this. And we need to give it a score that kind of ranks how similar these two are. And how we do that is by using something called embeddings. I get into that a lot more in other videos, but it's basically something that's provided by OpenAI that's not ChatGPT. If I just whip up a little example here, you can see that this post gives a score that's around 80%, whereas a post like this is more around 20%. So what I'm gonna do now is load the last 1,000 plus Reddit posts from each Reddit sub, and then do that calculation for each post, and then we'll sum them all together at the end and see exactly which Reddit sub has the highest concentration of people that hate their life. So there I go, I do a little typey typey, a little bit of beep beep boop boop, and after a few hours, our script is ready. The results are in. Coming in at last place, meaning the company with the smallest concentration of hosts where people are saying that they hate their job is EY. Congratulations. Congratulations, EY. Your post above threshold percentage is 1.26. And you know what? This is funny because the most complaints that I've gotten from my friends about their jobs, most of them work at EY. Now that I'm thinking about that, it might actually just be more of a reflection of their personality instead of actually the company. But I digress. Coming in at second place, we have KPMG at 2.16% of posts above threshold. Coming in at number two, we have PWC with an average above threshold level of 2.87%. But with PWC second, you can probably do the math that Deloitte is number one with 3.1%. Wow, Deloitte. Congratulations. You know, I gotta say though, these numbers are still a lot lower than I expected. Like. I thought this was going to be closer to 10 or 20% based on, you know, the things I hear, but it's actually, you know, everything's well below 5%. So I'm starting to realize that these are just complaints for like the company specific Reddit posts, but I'm discovering that there's another Reddit sub that kind of encompasses the big four as a whole. And it's more of like an anonymous complaints about, about the entire industry. And I'm gonna run the same process on this subreddit as well, and we'll see how the results compare. So the numbers are in for the big four reddit, comes in at a whopping 6.91%, wow. It's a little more anonymous and it's too bad because we can't really decipher where exactly these people work or most of them are quite anonymous. So unfortunately, any evidence from this subreddit doesn't really apply going forward here. Seeing these results, I'm now starting to wonder what would happen if I were to run this the opposite way? What if I now run it with the comparison text being, I love my job, I love my life instead? How will that compare to the opposite. Will this ranking stay consistent the other way too? Okay, so this is where it gets kind of interesting because I'm gonna show the results on the screen. As you can see, it is the complete opposite. It seems like Deloitte is like the most polarizing place as in people, they complain the most, but they also say they enjoy working there the most. So take that as you will. Some of the examples though, I must say are above threshold, but they're people who are happy because they're leaving. And so, 
you know, obviously my calculations aren't perfect. This is kind of a small flaw uh, of the technology as well. You know, these it's certainly not perfect, this algorithm that I've implemented. And this is kind of just a funny wrinkle and maybe just reflective on the industry as a whole. And one example why I do have to put this dis disclaimer in that, you know, this is obviously not perfect. But still kind of funny that the posts that it picks up where people say they love their life are really just moving on to other opportunities. One thing to keep in mind though, the Reddit API that I use, it only goes so far back in time. So like the post that I'm calculating this with is only from like the last two to three months. And what I'm curious to find out is if I run this script in say, March of next year during the infamous busy season, I'm really curious to see how much these numbers spike during that time. And if there's anyone out there who's worked at multiple of these companies, first of all, I'm sorry that you had to go through that multiple times. Let me know if these rankings reflected your experiences or how they were different. Comment below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more dumb projects in the future, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.